You'll stay with me always, Miss Pa. Without you, mon ami, I'd be all alone. Astronomical symbols. <sighs> it's no use. I can't get it open. I should show this to Monsieur B.
the field with the dead tree. Sleepless slaves. They meant the automats. Feeding off the blood of innocent people. Monsieur Raymond was completely mistaken. I must inform him.
Monsieur le Marquis. I'm listening, Aegis. I went to the meeting point you indicated. I had an unexpected encounter there. Get to the facts. Who did you meet there? Madame de Polignac. The Queen's favorite. She made no secret of her reason for being in that desolate place. So now I know all about the precious cargo that is the cause of your great concern. Seigneur. The children. What happened? Tell me that nothing bad has happened to them. That remains to be determined. One thing is certain. Charlotte and the young Dauphin are missing. The evidence points to an ambush by the Duc d'Orléans' men. They apparently attacked the wagon the children were hiding in. How... how the hell did they know? This ambush could not have taken place without an accomplice. You were betrayed. A plague on Orléans and his damned informants. They have taken the children. That still remains to be seen. It seems that the Duke's men were interrupted while carrying out their task. Three of them lost their lives. A fourth was able to escape. Excellent. I bet it was my hussars who sent the vermin running. But why the hell haven't they reported to me yet? Because they perished. Every last one of them. Mowed down by the royal automats. I found their remains outside the stables. Oh no, no, no. The poor souls. But then, the children. They must be in the hands of the scoundrel Orléans. We have no proof of this. In that case, there is not a minute to lose. We must get to the bottom of this and save the children. If there is still time. Oh, if I could get my hands on that rat Marat. I'd find a way to make him talk, believe you me. Goodbye, Monsieur le Marquis. Monsieur Necker. Madame? Eh bien, do you come bearing good news? Your wife. You may rest easy, monsieur. Your wife escaped the massacre. She returned home and left you this letter. Oh, and you. She's going to meet our daughter and son-in-law at our charity hospital. She may already be there. Madame, I did not dare to dream of such an outcome. My wife and daughter. Can you imagine? And I thought I had lost both of them. The three of us will be able to leave the kingdom and put these horrors behind us forever. What about the bonds? Oh, the bonds. Do with them as you see fit. As long as the king does not use them. As for me, I'm going to find my family at once. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. I pray that your efforts will be successful. Adieu, madame. Adieu. Minister Necker has given his bonds to me. That's quite a nice little sum. Can you imagine? That's one-fifth of the kingdom's entire wealth. Wealth that the king squanders for his personal benefit according to his whims. Ma foi. Monsieur Necker certainly has been very generous to his adoptive country. Generous? <laughs> I have my doubts. The loan was granted at a very high rate. So high, in fact, that it would have dug the deficit into an even deeper state of abyss. Eh bien, monsieur. To what use shall we employ this boonful fortune? If I could spend it, I'd do everything I could to return to the people their confiscated freedom. To begin, I would get them the bread they so sorely need. It is only after the scourge of famine has been vanquished that armed patriots might then be able to rise up against despotism. And where will you find wheat, Robespierre? Will you steal it from under the noses of the automats who have sworn to destroy the human race? As for arming the people, this is another one of your delusions. How could your ragged pack of wretches win any sort of battle that be unable to lift a sword? When you insult the people, you insult me, Monsieur de Lafayette. I am not insulting anyone, Robespierre. But I happen to know what it takes to fight, unlike you. Monsieur. I was but a lad of fifteen when I took up arms, and everyone here knows my role in the liberation of America from British rule. If you allow me to dispose of these bonds, I will found an army that will annihilate the Clockwork King's diabolical machines. As soon as I have the opportunity to leave Paris, I will rally the officers and troops that are stationed in the provinces. 
Then, I will call for a mass uprising. I will have more than enough money to pay their wages and procure the weapons we need. And you will have obedient troops at your beck and call, ready to repress anyone who challenges your power. These troops will only serve the will of the people. I swear it. Are you sure that the king has spared the rest of the kingdom, Monsieur le Marquis? I am almost certain of it, mon père. Despite all of his resources, the king does not have enough manpower to occupy all the garrisons in the country. Aegis, no member of this assembly can force your hand. The choice is yours. To whom will you entrust Monsieur Necker's bonds? Maximilien de Robespierre. I have chosen to entrust this fortune to you. Very well, madame. I promise that I will use it for one purpose only. Freedom for the people and by the people. When a monarch violates the people's most fundamental rights, insurrection is their most sacred and indispensable duty. But we must be wary of warmongers, who claim to defend our happiness. Bon sang. Am I the only one who is weary of hearing these tiresome monologues? For they wish only to silence us and take their own turn at playing tyrant. Congratulations, Aegis. You've chosen a speechifier as Commander-in-Chief. I am sure the King will be delighted to hear this. He need not fear for his throne now. Monsieur Bailly, I found this box with astronomical symbols on it. I believe it belongs to Volkonson's daughter. Athenais's secret box. I built it with my own hands. It was my gift to her on her 15th birthday. I wasn't able to open it. Naturellement. Athenais and I are the only ones who know how. Allow me. You must arrange the planets the way they were aligned on the day of Athenais's birth. Voila, like this. What's this locket? Atanias is always wearing this. It contains a portrait of her late mother. She said it was her most cherished possession in all the world. To think the poor child never knew her own mother. froze the moment you touched the locket. I thought you were... I thought I'd lost you. I saw her. A tenace de Vaucanson. The Comte de Caliostro has her. Mon Dieu. It is just as I feared. He bound her spirit to an automat. Please, say no more. A tenace. It is her spirit that animates you. Is it not? Yes. I believe so. Seigneur, quelle abomination. It is vital that you go and find Athenais as soon as possible. She is right in front of you. I am Athenais. Alas, I fear that is not entirely accurate. You know nothing of Athenais, Lydia. Nothing of her past, her joys, her suffering. Nothing of her love for her father. You are but the vessel that harbors the poor child's soul. Where can I find Atenais's body? God only knows. Although I assume that the Comte de Cagliostro is taking pains to keep her alive, this is certainly the only way to keep her spirit alive in you. The only way to free her is to find her body. 
Why was Eugène de Vaucanson imprisoned in the Bastille? Once he discovered the king's true intentions, he refused to continue cooperating with him. He refused to use his talents to create this abominable army. But the king didn't take kindly to his resignation. Eugène did manage to get a letter to me just before he was arrested. Here, take it. Monsieur B. Goodbye, Monsieur B. Monsieur Le. What can I do? The clues I found at the warehouse suggest that the gunpowder was moved to the Bastille. Diable! You must find a way to get there and put an end to this threat. The clues I found at the. Diable! I found this ledger with a list of metals in it. Let's see. Steel? Molybdenum, very good. Tian, Donk, Tungsten, and Zirconium. This must have as long for that. Brit I would sell all. Where I, I can He. The yeah. Goodbye. Monsieur B. Would you happen to know where I sulfuric combine that you would if of course? Goodbye. Monsieur Raymond. Go on. See you. Monsieur. Go on. I went to the rub. You are missed only this. Kill. For they would lack where? in a plated bed. The devil. That's three. At least I will. They supply the frog from and rest that. Monsieur Raymond. Go on. You are. I. 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 Mons what? Goodbye. Ali. Can I? What? Ne I have. Is this the where and pitches? I think. Oh, uh, this it's give. Have you finished reading? The yeah, don't this one. He will become what? if an economist or if a cute and for us about it. Goodbye. You know that of what you do the devil, but I've liked when you act. Oh.
saved us from the observatory. Poor souls. They didn't stand a chance. Monsieur le voisin. Okay. Monsieur. Yes.
No, Antoine, the F wheel is yeah, pres true. Oh. Voila. Everything is in place. When it's time, just pull on this metal loop to start the timer. Remember, we wish you remember. Here is the cow pr
Monsieur. Suits! Praise be to the Holy Mother of our Lord! At last thou speakest! Uh... Gentle dame, you have erred here for so long, not a word uttered. <laughs> In singular contemplation of such terrible slaughter. A long time, you say? That's not possible, sir. I've just now appeared to you. Nay, but thou must trust me. And thou wast hardly alone in this limbo. There were many travelers, stiff and silent, all in agony, all bound to the anchor stone. What travelers do you speak of? The first to arrive was a sobbing child searching for his mother. <laughs> After him, uh, many a damned soul carrying their own heads in hand. Then, those whose thoughts passed through me. Ah, a minister of God tormented by doubt. Hold on. A minister of God? Monseigneur de la Fare. A scholar with soul star-filled and a learned master of alchemy. Monsieur Bailly and Monsieur Lavoisier. A usurer who shed so many tears for his lady. Monsieur Necker, mourning his wife. All bound to the anchor stone. <laughs> Wretched souls, their ascension to the heavens repelled. The anchor stone, monsieur. Lapis Philosophorum. The Philosopher's Stone. I! Vile knave who took it for his own lately. No count is he but that of trespass and perfidy. Cagliostro. Well met. The rope for this violet and I shall be avenged. The Anchor Stone keeps the travelers in this limbo and makes them masters of the Iron Titans. From the defunct springs the fire that burns inside these demons. <laughs> Lanterns of the dead. Witchcraft of the blackest sword. The terrible slaughter. You say I was just observing the massacres. I, vile innumerable crimes. The devil's own accursed titans and their restless horde. They drinketh from the lake where the souls of the dead sleep. <laughs> Men and women offered in sacrifice to feed the pyre. Then the terrible moor was opened, and in flowed legion of the dead. Ne'er has I seen such and so many here during all my stay. Oh! The stone is verily mine dark confine. Lonely, so lonely, that mine vessel is no more. And my soul still cloistered in this place. Alack, I do despair of ever ascending to heaven. Gentle dame, I prithee do shatter my stone. You want me to break the stone that contains your soul? Is that what you're asking me to do? I, my God, I beg thee. Do you know where this stone is? You've been buried for more than three centuries, monsieur. The precious jewel, sublime treasure, was inscribed in my legacy, my testament, my testament. On my tomb engraved, gentle dame, on the tomb! about it immediately.
Can I help you, Aegis? The plan worked as we had hoped. My spirit left my body, and I traveled to the in-between. This is extraordinary. It confirms all my theories. You were right about the rest. Mon Dieu. Yes, Mon Please. Peace be with they all. The small. How? If of course. Look at the. Heaven. It was in his. Goodbye, Mon Père. Here it is. Four centuries, ages. Four centuries. No mind can begin to comprehend what this poor man has suffered. Is this the fate that awaits us? An eternity of silence and solitude? Purgatory is just a stop on the journey, Monseigneur. Oh, I would give anything to believe it again. Monsieur Flamel, the time has come to set you free. Et videntibus illis elevatus est. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up. Hallelujah! Purgatory is not the end. Do you know what that means, Abbot? Before I say anything, I would like to take the time to consider the phenomenon we have just witnessed with a clear head. You are mistaken. What we have just seen and heard makes us new apostles. From this day on, I will live only to share the good news of this divine manifestation. That is all well and good, Monseigneur. Alas, I will not be able to join your apostolate, for there is no mission more vital than the one we are undertaking. At the moment when the tyrant aims to annihilate his subjects, I have a duty to put deeds before prayer. <laughs> 